it's Megan from Chimonkey.com and it's back to school season and the next project on our list for back to school supplies is this really great Sharpie watercolor book cover. It's really simple to do. All you need is a canvas book cover and some Sharpies and some rubbing alcohol. So let's get started. The first thing I did with this project was tape down some lines. Then I started to draw my design. I'm going to do a chevron pattern down at the bottom and then at the top. And then I think I'll do some fun bohemian looks uh, with some feathers and some arrows to kind of round out this, this. So you just want to scribble some lines all over your project. You know, you don't need to fill it all in because the point of this is to use the rubbing alcohol to make it look like watercolor. So it doesn't need to be perfect. So do any kind of designs that you want with any kind of colors. And they don't even need to be perfect because like I said, we're going to blend everything together so that it looks like a beautiful watercolor art. So I'm just adding some finishing touches and then I'm going to add some color to my feathers and my arrows here. And then once I'm done coloring, I will go back with the rubbing alcohol and blend it all together. For the more finer detailed art, like these feathers and these arrows, I used a Q-tip with the rug and the alcohol just to blend little areas of it. I'll also do the same with the dots. So all you're doing here is soaking the area that you've got the Sharpie with, with the alcohol. The alcohol will dry, but it's also going to blend everything together and the art is gonna bleed. And that's totally fine because we want it to look like a watercolor paint. So now I'm going to do the outside chevron area and I, I did the inside triangles with the Q-tip but the outside I wasn't that concerned about. You can actually do a paintbrush um, or if you wanted you can just pour the alcohol right on the area and um, that will help it bleed. Now that I've got rubbing alcohol and everything I just went back with my gray sharpie marker to just make finer details to things like the arrows and the, the feather so that they could stand out and you could really tell that, you know, it was an arrow and whatnot, just because the gray kind of bled out a little too much. So I'm just going back and doing little, little details. And that is my beautiful book cover. And that is how you make a watercolor out of Sharpie. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, give it a good thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to check out more videos like it. Don't forget to check out my website also, chimonkey.com.